Hi YouTube and welcome to this video tutorial, um, another Photoshop tutorial that I'm going to do for you today is going to show you how to install third party brushes. Uh, you may have seen a, a lot of web designers use these cool effects and stuff and you're thinking oh wow like where they get those from such as like blood spatters and vectors and like paint tools and stuff. Well most of the time they're using brushes just normal brushes that you find within Photoshop but these brushes you have to get from other websites and install them uh, if you watch my uh, other Photoshop tutorial how to create a desktop wallpaper, a good looking desktop wallpaper um, I did use a third party brush and I said that I'd make a tutorial how to install them so here it is, it's, it's a bit late though so um, all you want to do is open up your web browser right here and um, go to www.brushking.eu and that'll bring you to this web page which gives you a whole lot of categories over the right hand side and just some random ones on this side so, so you've got all sorts of different types you can go to categories uh, I like abstract brushes I think there's some interesting ones here uh, some of these look really great um, so for this tutorial I'll use an example, uh, I might as well just use this one, looks pretty cool. So all you do is just wave the cursor over the image and hit download, and then it'll download. The files vary in size, so this is a fairly small one. I did download, I did download one earlier that was 40 megabytes. Uh, the file size will increase according to the resolution of the brushes and the quality of the brushes, and how many brushes that you get, but once you download the file, um, you just want to open up, usually it comes in a zip file and you open up that zip and then open up Windows Explorer and you want to navigate to your Adobe Photoshop folder which is usually in your C drive program files Adobe and Adobe Photoshop CS5 or whatever version you have this does work for as far as I know as early as CS2, I mean that's the earliest version of Photoshop I've ever used, I don't know about any of the other older ones but I'm assuming that you have a version newer than CS2 uh, once you're in this folder just go to presets then brushes and you'll have a list of the brushes that are installed, I've got a fresh copy of Photoshop so I don't have all my good brushes in it that I normally would um, and you just want to basically drag this brush in the zip file into that folder so just drop that in there click continue if you have to and it'll copy that it'll copy that in there like that so if you're done there that's the installation complete you can get out of all of this now you can get out of your web um, browser now you're gonna have to restart Photoshop once you do this so just close out of Photoshop and reopen it again because it does load all the brushes um, on initialization of the program. So once you're open, you just get file, make a new project. One sec. Yeah, okay. Um, new project, whatever settings you want. Um, just make sure you're on a layer. Go to your brushes tool and bring your cursor out onto the document. Right click. Uh, click this little arrow here where you go to select your brushes. And the new one that we downloaded is down here. It'll have usually have the name and the author of the um, brushes, and then just click OK. Um, so here we go. These are fairly high resolution. Just select one. Um, actually, for these, I'm going to make the background black because these are a neon-looking sort of flowy-looking brush. Oh, where the fuck's my cursor? There we go. So make the background black and create a new layer, and just go back to your brush. I'll make it. I'll make a nice blue color. And to shrink these, just right click when you when you mouse is on the document and just my screen recorder is being a bit homo here, so I'll just set custom DPI. And then just basically click. Um, that's your custom brush all installed, so you can use these for your web graphics and all you're doing is clicking. You don't have to hold it down or draw anything. Um, then of course these are transparent so if you get rid of that the background you can see that it's a transparent brush so you can add your effects, you can add a drops shadow, you can add a glow 
I might add a bit of a glow here, see what that looks like. I'm using dual monitors here, so all my windows are popping up on the other screen, which is a bit annoying for the tutorial. Uh, make that flat. Uh, let's go to make three, maybe ten. So you can add all your effects here and stuff, and I mean, that's basically all there is to it. That's how you install brushes into Photoshop. Um, you can choose any of the brushes, all the, the ins installation methods all the same. Um, be sure to restart Photoshop once you install the brush, otherwise Photoshop won't be able to find it. Now you can try all the different brushes on there. Most of the time they're free. I've never come across any payware brush sets. They'd have to be damn good quality because what's out there on the freeware market is awesome for what you want to do. Um, that's basically it guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, the more subscribers I get, the more stuff that I usually tend to produce. I uh, do guitar covers if you want to check those out. I do game videos. Well, I did do game videos a while ago when I was a bit younger. Um, then I also have more tutorials and reviews and stuff like that. If you have a tutorial for Photoshop that you want to request, uh, just drop a comment below. Um, I'm fairly good with Photoshop, so I'll probably be able to show you how to do that if you can't already find the tutorial on YouTube. But um, Anyway, thanks guys, drop a comment, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to me if you liked it even more, and I'll see you in the next video.